Well, four astronauts are on track to head to the moon. Today, NASA gave an update on its Artemis II mission. That mission is to launch astronauts on a trip around the moon and test out the system so NASA can finally land astronauts back on the moon for long-term exploration. The Artemis program is composed of three different missions. So the first one launched back in 2022 as data collection. So the second mission around the moon is estimated to launch in November of next year. Then Artemis III, where we could have the first woman and person of color to land on the moon. That is scheduled for December of 2025. But joining me now, August 8th, 2023, former NASA astronaut Jose Hernandez. Uh, so great to speak with you, Jose. Thank you for your time. First of all, let's just talk about more about this Artemis II mission. What are we getting out of this? What are we really hoping to learn here? Well, uh, first of all, uh, happy to be here, Nicole. Thank you very much. And uh, pretty excited about this Artemis II mission because you know the Artemis I mission went without a crew and it went and did an elliptical orbit around the moon and then came back. We're proposing exactly the same thing with uh, Artemis II, except that now we're going to have a crew of four astronauts. And so we'll be testing, obviously, the life support systems and how things work. Uh, we'll do one orbit around the Earth and then do that lunar elliptical orbit and then come back home. And so uh, it's going to do kind of like a proof of principle that you know we're going to make sure things work things are safe uh, before we commit to actually landing on the moon, which, as you mentioned, is Artemis III. All right. So, Jose, I know you're probably a little biased here, uh, but these missions certainly are not cheap. A lot of people bulk when they see the price tag, including one of my producers. I will leave him nameless. Uh, but is it really worth these exorbitant price tags? I mean, is it worth the cost? Yes, it is, Nicole, because you got to realize that technology is the heartbeat of any nation's economy. And, uh, and, and so we have to stay ahead of everybody. And what better way than to invest in space technology? Because, you know, space technology is what gave us our phones and satellite communication and everything else. It has saved a lot of lives. And it behooves us to invest in this technology because eventually it gets commercialized down here to make our lives more comfortable and to even save lives in inventing medical devices, new medicines, uh, and, and uh, lots of inventions are attributed to uh, space technology. All right, but look at that, Jose, $93 billion. Then that's just the Artemis program costs uh, over, it looks like a span of about 13 years there. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money, but again, you know, when, um, when you know, it's not going to be you and I that are going to be experiencing this, Nicole, but, you know, one day, you know, four or five hundred years from now, when uh, when we are, we have to leave this planet because uh, perhaps we contaminate it too much and we have a runaway effect of our atmosphere disappearing and we have the technology to go to another world, they're going to look back 500 years and says, you know, I'm sure glad those people in uh, in the Artemis era invested this money to save uh, to save human lives. Yes, I mean it certainly is important to be forward thinking, and and uh, knowledge is absolutely power. Uh, Jose, I know you know as as a former astronaut here, is there anything upcoming that you're excited about that maybe is just not on the radar of uh, general you know the general public like myself? Well, I, I'm excited that the gateway station that's going to be orbiting around the moon is being developed, and then we're going to develop a uh, a long duration lunar base so we can test out technology so that uh, eventually, once we'll have the technologies perfected, we'll be able to send humans to the surface of Mars, and that is really exciting. That's very exciting, so I'm pretty excited about that. Well, uh, Jose, always great to speak with you. Thank you so much for giving us some of your time. Thank you very much, Nicole. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.